Hello everybody. So today I will talk about calculus. The topic today is about differential equations. So now I will show you how to answer. I will put b equals to this one and q equals to this one. So s and s and y we have s square plus 2sy. Next, because we have the s, that means we need to do first the derivative of the function with respect to y. So this one we have for s because first the derivative of y, you got number 1. First the derivative of y square, we have number 2. So number 3 with number 2, we have 6y. Next, we have dy. That means we need to do first the derivative of this function with respect to s. First, the derivative of s where we have 2s. First, the derivative of s, we have number 1, so we have 2y. Now, this one is not equal to this one. So, in this situation, I need to create about integrating factor. So if we look carefully about this one, this one you can create the factor in here. So that's about dy. So we need to create about integrating factor contain the variable of s. So that should be about mu s. Now, we need to multiply both sides by mu s. And now, we want dy over rdp over dy equals to dq over ds. So, if we do first the derivative of this one, we will have about mu s multiplied by 4s plus 6y because they don't contain about variable of y in here so we just have only mu s multiplied by this one next they have s in here so that means if we do first the derivative of this one we will multiply by mu s if we do first the derivative of mu s, we will multiply by this one. This is about the product rule. Of the derivative. So we do first the derivative of this one. That's about this one in here. Multiply by mu s plus first derivative of mu s multiplied by this one. Now, we put this one go to the left. So we change the side 2s and 2y. For s minus 2s, we have number 2. 6y minus 2y, we have 4y. So, number 2 and number 4, we can do about factorization. So, we put number 2 outside. And we look carefully, we can divide both sides by s plus 2y s plus 2y Next, we divide both sides by s and mu s Next 
we put the interaction for the both sides. The interaction of this one, we have to ln of the absolute value of x. The interaction of this one, we have ln of the absolute value of mu x. Next, number two, go inside about natural law in here because we have the formula. B L N A equals to L N of A to the power of B. So we put number two cone here. And now we have mu S equals to S square. That means we need to multiply both sides of this equation by S square. So this one we have s to the power of 3 s square s to the power of 3 and s with s square you got about s to the power of 3 in here so s to the power of 3 with s you have s to the power of 4 and s to the power of 3 now I will put about b equals to this one and q equals to this one so we have the s that means we do first the derivative of the function of b with respect to y so this one we have for s to the power of 3 First, the derivative of y square, we have 2y, number 3, and number 2, we have number 6. This one, we don't have y, you got 0. The q over the s, this one, we have for s to the power of 3. First, the derivative of s to the power of 3, we have number 3, and s square, Number 3 with number 2, we have number 6. And we see that this one equals to this one. And we can use about exact. So, I need to create about the function fsy equals to this interaction in here plus 3sy the interaction of for s to the power of 3 we have s to the power of 4y the interaction of 3s square we have s to the power of 3y square and this one we have s to the power of 4 over 4 plus 3sy Next, we do first the derivative of the function with respect to y after we do about the s. So first the derivative of y, you got number 1. First the derivative of y square, we have 2 s to the power of 3y this one we don't have y you got zero and we know that everything in here equals to this one so we simplify for the both side and you will got about this one equals to number zero Next, we put the interaction for the both sides. So we need to do the interaction of number 0 
and we got about C. This one equals to 3SY. Now we go back to this equation. So this one we put about C in here. And we know that everything equals to FSY. FSY equal to C. That's about the constant. So if we simplify, we just put like this. And this is the final answer. This is the end. Thank you for watching.